Hi, my name is Tomasz Poszetek and welcome to the last video in a series around Power Tool Agents for Microsoft Teams. In this video, I will show you how you can achieve the, well, actually the last step in your journey with Power Tool Agents for Microsoft Teams. So the publishing of your bot and making it available for users within your team or in your whole organization. So the first step you need to follow before you make that possible is you have to navigate to this publish icon and then to hit publish so that all the latest content, all the latest configurations, all the latest topics, changes, and it is whatever you've created is available to, uh, to the users. And once you have published it, you can then start to open the bot and check how it works for you, for you only, or you can share it. So first, let me show you how the open the bot works. So I need to add it only for myself. And so here is my Q&A bot. And right now I can actually start typing it. Remember my test topic where, I, where I'm asking a user for their age and then displaying their manager? That's it. Yep, so I can state that this bot is actually working. So just go away, I don't want you anymore. And let me navigate back to my Power Tool agents and then I will show you, show you how you can actually publish it for the users within your team. So that's my bot. The second scenario that you can actually follow uh, is to allow this bot to be used by the users within your team. To do that, you need to go to share the bot and then to select the option to share it with your team. Let me just change a little bit the details of the bot. So I'll change the color, uh, maybe the orange one. I don't have a different icon and um, well I will not change the description no 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 I won't change this information either what I can as well change and what you remember I was able to do is to change the bot's name and I can do that by navigating to the details so I'll just do this view one so that I will be able to actually differentiate or um, identify that this is the bot I want to actually use. So let me go back to the uh, publishing and to share the bot. When sharing the bot only to Microsoft Teams, you don't actually need an approval from your Microsoft Teams admin. And that's very simple. Just hit that button and it's done. All right, so the bot is now published for controls or team. And so once I navigate to uh, the other user, so this is Adele Vance, who is also a member of the Contoso team, if she would like now to start using the bot that I have published, she needs to go now to this ellipsis icon and then to hit more apps. Under more apps, she needs to navigate to the build for Contoso section. And here, under the build by your colleagues area, she will find all the bots that she has an access to that were built for any of the teams she is a member of. And right here I can find this Q&A bot if you want that I have just published. So let me add it. And so with that, she can actually start typing and discussing with the bot herself. So now the bot is asking for her age. Well, it's not very clever and gentleman approach to ask women for age but well what can we do on the other hand she is an employee who has a manager and so her manager is displayed so in this case the power uh, the flow that we've created was actually working correctly okay so now she is going to uninstall that again and navigate back to the microsoft teams of the admin so the other approach that we can actually follow is to share the bot with anyone within the organization. Well, by that, we will be making this bot available to any employee of the Contoso of my tenant, actually. But before it is actually available for any user that is using Microsoft Teams, it has to be first admitted or approved by the admin, Microsoft Teams admin. 
So now I will send it for Microsoft Teams admin for approval. And you know what? I'll just change the color to something else like the blue one. Uh, and well, I need to submit for approval again. I need to click it a couple of times. So right now the bot is being sent for the approval of my well, Teams administrator, which is, which is actually me. And once this process is, uh, once this request request is processed, I'll show you what you should do next to actually approve it. So it has been requested uh, completely. So now it's waiting for approval. So um, you see that its name is actually the Q&A bot. So even though I, I set its name to V1, therefore its internal name or whatever else name is still Q&A bot. So this is the one that I'm actually need to follow and I need to find. So right now I need to navigate to Microsoft Teams admin and then go to um, Teams apps and then to manage apps. And right here I can actually uh, use the publishing status to search. So, well, as you can see, this is my Q&A bot, the blue one that I just created, and it's submitted and it's well blocked because I cannot use it. So now I will open it and here I can change its uh, publishing status from submitted to publish. And well, that's it. So now again, I will navigate to um, Adele, Adele's account. So again, Adele, if she would like to add a bot that is published for the whole company, so that if any user would like to use it, then she needs again to go on this ellipsis icon and there and then to more apps. And well, the bot is already in here. So uh, all the bots that are built for the company, so that are available for any user within Microsoft Teams, are going to be available here. So there, there will be available under the, in this section built for your organization. The one that, those that were created for specific teams, so only for members of those teams, are available under the build by your colleagues. So this is the difference. So once I edit, um, well, the conversation history is saved because this is actually the same bot with the same ID, uh, with the same uh, database that is being used for storing conversations and sessions and history. So therefore, everything here is saved. However, you can see that the name of the bot is, uh, is changed. So like all the information that I actually updated oh, and, the, and the icon is now blue and the, it was yellow in the first place. So now it's really like a different bot. So even though it is using the same engine, it is like seen or, or, under, or it is um, considered as a new interface of the bot. And so, well, that's it. So this way you can actually create a bot and then publish it either to your Microsoft Teams user of the specific team, or you can publish it to the whole organization if you'd like so. And so by watching this, um, series of videos. I hope that you now know how to create a bot, how to start using the bot, how to create conversations, what are topics, how you can extend the basic abilities of your uh, conversations in virtual agent with flows built on Power in Power Automate. And well, if you have any questions, then simply leave them as a comments under the videos. If you'd like to find out more about the authentication, about getting more from the user context about calling Graph API on behalf of the user, uh, then simply navigate to the other video that I recorded around the user context in virtual agents for Microsoft Teams. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. So again, subscribe, uh, thumbs up, and until next time, thank you.